Today, I want to talk to you about the formative power of the mind. It says in Proverbs 23, verse 7, one of the classic Bible quotes of all time, For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. As within, so without. You might have heard me say that before. What in the world does that mean? As within you, so without in your life. You determine what your life is going to be by your view of it inside of your mind, in your being. As within, so without. This is the key to do something constructive about the circumstances of your life when you see them out of order. You check back on your thinking about it to see where you've allowed your thoughts to deviate from God's good order. We all do this. I'm not talking you down. I'm... <laughs> I'm one that I've done this many times myself. You have too. We just need to put it in check to know that the formative power of our thoughts can produce good results. And we put our thoughts back in order with God. Many of us have indulged in pointless daydreaming, allowing our thoughts to go from here to there, and we build vague and shattery uh, sh uh, shadow forms. And many times it is shadow forms of fear or what could possibly go wrong. <laughs> and when our minds are doing this constantly, uh, we, we have to wonder how we can ever have anything good happen in our lives. Uh, if, if you were to go through your mind at 3 o'clock in the morning, would it be safe to be in there? Uh, or would it be a heaven on earth? Well, I pray that it's a heaven on earth for you. We have to realize that when we have a lack of concentration, the mind will take over and will go crazy thinking about things that bring us only fear, anxiety, and uh, negative thinking. We have these thoughts inside of us just constantly warring with our faith. But let us examine these to know that it doesn't have any merit. We look at it, and we examine it. We say, are you true? And most of the time, it will melt into nothingness. If there is one that we would like to materialize, well, then we do the mental work to make it happen. You know, you've got that dream that is in the corner of your mind, where you're almost afraid to, to grab it and pull it and bring it to center. Well, you have to concentrate on that desire. You have to direct your thinking along positive lines. You have to know that God is with you. And you don't allow yourself to form any picture around it of doubt and of fear or contrary forms in your inner world of thought. You fashion the perfect picture of what is needed and wanted, and you have the patience until the formative power of that thought has produced the result in the outer. I've used this many times in my life, and you probably have too. And as we go on in life, we tend to forget that power and we tend to, again, 
it's a human way. Focus on the little doubts and the little fears and the little negativity that is in our minds. Focus instead on what you can be, what you can become, and use that formative power of thought to produce good results. As within, so without. Begin to equip yourself, become what you pray for. Don't pray for something that you're not willing to become. Literally put on the Christ of what you're praying for, and you will see it in a big way in front of your eyes manifest.